Uh, today is uh, Thursday, February 20th, 2020. So it's 22 2020. <laughs> and I uh, wanted to give a construction update here. Uh, just got some, some more steel, so they're carrying that back to, to the site. As you can see, the fence is, you know, pretty, pretty far along now. And uh, in, in between each of, the, each of the divisions there, we'll have either bamboo or steel with decoration, something we'll figure it out later. And every other piling we'll have, um, there's still some to pour, as you can see. Uh, every other uh, piling will have uh, a lantern on top of it, electrical. Speaking of electrical, look how they do the temporary power here. So they used a, an old uh, water container uh, and cut it to, to make the housing for, for the, uh, the temporary power, the Filipino way. <clears throat> I don't think this would pass US, US electrical inspectors, but it works. So we've cleaned up a lot, still have a lot to do. But uh, they're they're building the garage now, so this will be as you come onto the property here between these big boulders. I took some big boulders out of here, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> all by hand. And this is the way the driveway will go and meander over into the bays here. These monuments here were were piling from the original little Bayakubo, or little house that was here. Um, one of the gentlemen that works with us here lived in that Bayakubo for 13 years, and he's the one that planted all these coconut trees. There were 40 of them. We had to take 10 out uh, for the house, as few as we wanted to. This is all the wood that they uh, they, they cut from, from coconut trees uh, with a chainsaw, and it's really amazing to watch. But you can see how, how well they, they, they do it, how close to the 2x4 and 2x6 and so on they are. They're, it's pretty amazing. And you can see that they, they uh, uh, build the scaffolding with, with that wood. And so they use everything. The coconut trees that we cut down, they cut into this wood and are using it for the scaffolding. They're amazingly, um, in, you know, industrious with their their mannerisms. For example, see the uh, under the window frame here. They used a piece of the outside part of the rounded part of the of the log to to make the brace. <clears throat> so you know you don't buy anything. It's uh, it's pretty cool to watch them do what they do and over here they they pour the slab after they build the building which is of course reversed from the US so this will be one garage bay this will be another garage bay and the ceiling you know will have a, a walking space in it too so it's a pretty good size uh, garage now this is a uh, this will be an air conned room here with a little bathroom in the back um, and this has its own its own septic tank. That's the septic tank over there. So they're just finishing up the last courses, the blocks now. So over here, the steel is <clears throat> being made into, that's La Jolla Dive Resort there. This, <laughs> again, they've planted uh, coconut, uh, excuse me, tomatoes and, and papaya and everything here, the workers, so. <laughs> They, they make, you know, lem uh, lemonade out of lemons. And uh, these are the, uh, the piling uh, steel for these uh, caps here. And, these, and this is the one-story house here. And these will be one meter deep. And over here, These will be one and a half meters deep, which is about five feet, it's like 4.93 feet. So these things are huge. And it's, it's a lot of rock. 
These guys do this by hand all day. I have so much admiration for them and their work. They're tough guys. And uh, so here's, you know, here's what the back of, of it will look like. And here's the front too, but they didn't use the right color scheme on it. So welcome to Kokomo. The Cora's over here working away. Hey, Cora. <laughs> And uh, so the back area has been, you know, become pretty clean. And uh, they'll, they'll be pouring the, the slabs pretty soon. It's coming along. I hope, I hope we have the tent I think we do. I'll go check on it. Okay. So you can see the view is as spectacular as ever. Kind of a windy day, but it just creates a different kind of beauty in the ocean. This is where our salicot will be, or the gazebo, you know, the US would call it. And, and here's why. The view from here is just, just amazing. And the, the, the scenery of the mountains changes as the day uh, goes on and the, and the storms roll over the mountain and so on. Of course, you can see down the beach here too. And right over here is where the fishermen bring the fish in and we, we just walk down and buy the fish from them uh, right off the, <clears throat> out of the net or out of the boat. <clears throat> and. Um, the island of Comegan, a volcanic island, is over here, but you can't see it today. Sometimes you can see it real plain, and sometimes you can't see it at all, like today. But here, you can see how clear the water is. Actually, I'm gonna go snorkeling. The reef is all, all in here. So I'm gonna go snorkeling on the reef here in just a few minutes. So the water is so clear today. So that's the progress so far. It's coming along. We'll keep you posted. We're out.